Hey, I'm Tara. Hi, I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara, a bonus episode, the part of the show where we just do stuff because we want to. Guys, okay, so we went to this bar, restaurant, tavern uh, called Foreman's. It was a whiskey bar and they had this old fashioned that was so good that I ordered a second one for people to pass around and try and I'm dying to try to make it. So it was called a Smoky Irishman and they used smoke and they, they infused their whiskey with smoke. And I happen to have one of those thingies. <laughs> Christmas this year, you got this little handy dandy smoker and you've been smoking all kinds of things ever since. I got it for Justin. So what I did was I went on their website and I got their recipe, well, I got what their menu says and then I looked at their Instagram and I'm piecing it together and hopefully this works out. Let's just, let's try. <laughs> so first of all, they use Sexton Irish whiskey. Um, I'm excited about this. That is the most beautiful bottle Isn't it? I have ever seen. So what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, smell oh, that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so we're making an old fashioned, so we need at least, and we're making two, so we need at least four ounces, four ounces? of. Yeah, I would go, I would go four and a half. Hey, Natalie. Guys, I, 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 I bought a funnel. <laughs> I got three. Which one do you think you need? This one? That one. Okay. You have three funnels? They came together and they're squishy so they fit in my drawer. Now for the fun part. We are going to smoke this uh, whiskey. So I have got my uh, hum, humia, homia fuma. I don't know what. Homia fuma. Homia fuma smoke infuser. And it comes with this little liddy thing that to put over your drink. There was something else that I was gonna say before I did this. Don't put up matches. Don't forget to hydrate, kids. Yes. Let's see if I can set these little guys on fire. I probably should have read the instructions first. Nah. Okay, hold on, hold on. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, nope, it died. Let's try again. Yeah, I don't ever do this, Justin does it. I, they might have, should have read instructions first. This is, oh, that's what I was gonna say. This is maple wood chips. It's specifically called for maple wood chips. Okay, now get the, some of that circulation going. Oh, my match died. Come on, I got fire. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. That looks amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, that looks so oh. cool. When do you think we have enough? I think we're good? I mean, now? That looks like a, a lot. Okay, that's good. Whoa. And it's mostly staying in there. Oh, look at all this smoke. That looks like magic. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So, while this is smoking, we're gonna set it aside and we're going to make the the meat, the uh, the garn act. We're gonna make the garnish of the old fashioned. This is the meat of the old fashioned. That's the meat. Yeah. So let's scoosh this aside. From their Instagram pictures, what it seems to me is that you're basically making an old fashioned in here, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna transfer it into with the other thing. Right. I mean, that. you're doing. So it's just sugar and bitters. I seen that there had to have been a lot of. Oh, we got ice too. Yeah. But first, ah. smooshy smoosh. Okay. Okay. So just the tiniest splash of soda water, just to give it some something to mix with that stuff. Okay. Okay. Give that the hour and a half stir. There you go. And then I bought a fancy ice cube thingy because they had just one big ice cube. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it as best as I can. Give it as fighting as chancest. There we go. Okay. How long has it been? It's been about three minutes. I don't know if that's long enough. Do I want to swirl it? I think it may be time for swirling. Ooh. <laughs> I like the swirling part. Look at it go. A little tornado in there. I say we give it another minute. Okay, one more I don't minute. Know how to, well, while we're doing that, we can get our little orange peel ready. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I found a peeler and then um, I had to find out in the picture if there what, what kind of garnish they had done. Like, did they do cherry? Did they? I think they just did just one. Did. Yeah, one thing of orange. Okay, and then, and then, okay. and then. Has it been a minute yet? It's been a minute. Okay, then we can do this. Okay, so I'm gonna pour half season in each of our glasses. Okay. 
Did you want to get more of a swirl? Because I remember him really swirling it. I think that's probably for sure. Probably. It probably is. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I like the smoke coming out at the end. Oh, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Now we're going to strain that, the rest of that into there. So then the last would be to garnish it. I think maybe give it a little stir. Okay. Now that we got that stuff on the top though. Yeah, it's all really just to mix this around. Here we so go. Get our little garnishes in there. Okay, and then, and then we try it. Ready? Cheers. Please, 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 please. That's perfect. That's great. That's, That's good. perfect. I do think theirs gets a little bit smokier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, I think it's that being able to lay it on the side. Yeah. So they have a bottle that has a flat side and you can lay it on the side, and it just means that more surface is touching more whiskey. Mm -hmm. So that's where you end up with more smoky. I think so. I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna watch, and I will let you know in the comments below if I figure it out. We will go back to the bar and do some research for you for guys. You. Because we wanna sacrifice and do everything we can to give you the fullest of experiences. Oh my God, that is so good. We were so close to cracking this thing. Um, and I'm just gonna end our little bonus situation here. I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara bonus. And this was good enough. <laughs>